Hello, my name is Brett Slezak, Director of Innovation for the Quaker Valley School District. This presentation is an end of the year highlights report on the progress the district has made over the 2023-2024 school year towards our Blueprint QV comprehensive plan. Blueprint QV exists not just as a planning tool to prioritize and implement strategic projects, goals, and initiatives across the district, but it also acts as a means for QVSD to ensure we are living the shared values that make up our mission and vision. All of the action items and initiatives within this plan fall into one or more of these five categories. Curriculum instruction and achievement, safe and student-centered supports, innovation, community engagement, and district resources. While it would take hours to properly cover the work that was accomplished this year, in the next few slides I will briefly cover the overarching highlights in each goal category. Under Curriculum, Instruction, and Achievement, a considerable amount of work has been underway reviewing several subject areas. Most notably, a new secondary ELA curriculum was approved by the School Board for Implementation in the fall, a new primary resource was approved for Social Studies in May, and with an increasing need to support English language learners, a K-12 program for our English as a Second Language program was adopted. And without going into too much depth for the additional items, work was done to improve the Kindergarten Report Card, transition our standardized testing platforms online, and explore student-centered coaching models with our instructional coaches. For our Safe and Student-Centered Supports goal, several events and activities were held to strengthen the connection between our schools. Just a few examples of these events include Middle School Move Up Day for 5th grade students, our Senior Walk where graduating seniors return to the other buildings for a final send-off, the HSA-sponsored homecoming parades at each building, in the Osborne International Festival, which invited high school students from the Cultural Alliance, French program, and Spanish program to present. Additionally, the district is currently researching new mental health providers after being notified that one of the current providers will no longer be servicing school districts for next year. The QV Police Department also planned and implemented new safety lessons in grades K-12, through and the school safety plan was reviewed and revised this school year. This year, several grants were awarded to help implement innovative practices at QVSD. These grants include a $3,500 grant from the Swickley Valley Community Fund to support elementary video production programming, a $2,000 grant to support the D.A.R.E. program, a $35,000 Safe Schools grant, $257,000 mental health and security grant, and a $123,000 mental health grant to support safety and security programs at Quaker Valley a $199,000 competitive safe schools grant to update physical security systems, a $1,000 grant to fund the Science Olympiad from the Child Health Association, a separate $1,000 grant for the high school from the Most Valuable Principal Program sponsored by the Penguins Foundation, and a $10,000 grant from the Arconic Foundation to expand the middle school project lead the way curriculum in eighth grade. In addition to this, nearly $950,000 of additional funding was acquired for the high school project, which will be referenced later on in our district resources goal. The total sum of grant funds secured this year by Quaker Valley School District is $1,621,266. Additionally, under this innovation goal, time was spent reviewing our technology systems and resources to increase efficiency and function. Out of this work, a new online registration process was put in place, a new digital textbook inventory will be used next year, and a new effort has been made to begin improving data automation across the district. And finally, after being notified that the district's mass communication provider would be ending its services in June 2024, a new communications platform is currently being implemented called ParentSquare, which is designed to streamline communications throughout the district. In the realm of community engagement, the district has devised a comprehensive strategy focused on frequent, accessible, and engaging communications. This includes an increased emphasis being placed on the frequency and impact of newsletters, district mailings, emails, and the reach of our social media presence. Through this plan, the district has highlighted key issues affecting schools in the community, including educational initiatives, district policies, and community events. Keeping communication accessibility in mind, the district has also begun using Translate Live ILA Pro devices to remove language barriers for in-person meetings and events. These devices allow any two people to instantly have a real-time in-person conversation to occur no matter what language they use. 
More specifically in regards to the new high school project, numerous events were held to communicate the progress of the project, including a YMCA Senior Men's Club presentation, an evening high school property tour, HSA meetings, business roundtables, and design boards being on display at our school buildings and the Swickley Public Library. On May 10th, a staff wellness fair was held in partnership with the Flourish Group to engage staff in learning about healthy wellness habits. And finally, an inventory of the current volunteer opportunities in, in the district was reviewed to brainstorm new potential volunteer opportunities. For our final goal of district resources, we will start with an action item that overlaps closely with our community engagement goal. In this category, a concerted effort was made to leverage all of our communication channels to provide frequent updates on the high school project. These efforts included digital and print campaigns, hosting community forums with different stakeholder groups, and planning for the redesign of the Blueprint QV page with new hero fly-throughs and renderings. Productive progress has also been made with Unit 2 contract negotiations with regular ongoing discussions being held. Also, negotiation progress has been made between the Board of Directors and the Act 93 Administrators Group with an anticipated Act 93 agreement to be finalized and voted on in June of 2024. Also, the district's partnership with Summit Strategies has helped secure two major grant funding sources. The first is an $850,000 Community Project Funding Award issued by Representative Chris Deluzio to support the widening of Camp Meeting Road and increase safety features for pedestrians and bike traffic. The second is a $100,000 grant allocated by Senator Bob Casey to benefit the high school QV's CAFE program, which is the student-run coffee shop program. The partnership forged with Summit Strategies, a national strategic government consulting firm, has proven to be beneficial in securing funding that would otherwise have gone unrealized for Quaker Valley School District. While I could spend much more time talking about the other action items not mentioned, this presentation is just a high-level fly-through of the work taking place at Quaker Valley School District. In the upcoming year, we will continue to be thoughtful and focused on how to meet our strategic goals with updated action items. We appreciate your continued support, and I thank you for your time and attention for this end-of-year update.